Welcome to Children's English Service. How have you been, everybody? Today, I want to talk about what God wants us to do. Um, as you know, what God wants most from us is to love Him. We confess our love, right? We love our Lord when we pray and when we think of Him. But it's not the love just felt or spoken. True love is to act. So by doing what our loved one likes and rejoice in, being happy, that is true love, right? So when we love our Lord, we must do things that our God rejoices in. When we abandon all things that we liked, were happy about, and move toward God without looking back, finally, we are in love with Him. Um, but there are lots of things we love in a world. So it's too hard to say you throw them all away once and just follow God all on. So uh, for a moment, uh, we think of Him and we wish for Him. That is practice our love for God little by little, day by day. So please, Turn off your cell phone or computer for a moment and focus on God. And we, lest we confess uh, our love, feeling his soft voice and the peace he gives us. Um, let's pray to our God before we have our service. Put your hands together and close your eyes. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for giving a chance to meet you today. Thank you for giving a chance to follow you from now on. So please give your wisdom and power to us to do. Um, please be with us, lead us, and guide us. Bless this time, bless all of us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. The words of this year, to walk humbly with your God. Micah chapter 6, verse 8. So we are children who walk with God every day. So let's confess the Apostles' Creed to show we are God's apostles. Ready, set, go. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and set it on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence, he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Universal Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let's praise everybody. Um, the praise title is Through It All. Whoa. 
Today's Bible story is in 1 Kings and 2 Kings in Old Testament. The title is A New Prophet. The Bible verse is 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 2, 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 1 to 15. God spoke to Eliza to anoint Elisha to succeed him as a prophet. Eliza found Elisha out in a field plucking with 12 yoke of oxen. Eliza drew his coat over him. It was a sign God made him a prophet. Let me kiss my father and mother goodbye, Elisha said, and then I will come with you. Elisha returned to his parents. He took his yoke of oxen and slaughtered them. He burned his blocking equipment to cook the meat. There was no way he could now carry on doing the job he had. He then shared the meat with his parents and the people who had come to say goodbye. Then Elisha set up with Eliza to begin the new job that God had chosen for him. Eliza and Elisha were on their way out of Gilgal when Eliza said, Stay here. The Lord has sent me to battle. Elisha replied, As surely as the Lord lives and you live, I will not leave you. So they went to, to battle together. The company of the prophets at battle came out to Elisha and asked, do you know that the Lord is going to take your master from you today? Eliza said to Elisha, Stay here, Elisha. The Lord has sent me to Jericho. Elisha replied, As surely as the Lord lives and you live, I will not leave you. So they both went to Jericho. The company of the prophets at Jericho went up to Elisha and asked them, Do you know that the Lord is going to take your master from you today? Yes, I know, Elisha replied. So be quiet, please. Eliza then said to Elisha, Stay here. The Lord has sent me to the river Jordan. As surely as the Lord lives and you live, I will not leave you, Elisha replied. So the two of them walked to the river Jordan. Fifty men from the company of the prophets followed them. Eliza took a clock, struck the water with it. The water divided to the right and the left. And they crossed over on dry ground. The prophets watched them cross the river. Tell me, what can I do for you before I am taken away? Eliza said, Let me have a double share of your power, Elisha replied. That is difficult, but if you see me when I am taken from you, it will be yours, otherwise it won't. Suddenly, a chariot of fire and horses of fire appeared and separated the two of them. Eliza went up to heaven in a whirlwind. Eliza's cock fell to the ground. My father, my father, the chariots and the horsemen of Israel. Elisha tore his cloth. He took Eliza's cloak and struck the water with it. The water divided. The prophets who were watching said, the spirit of Eliza is resting on Elisha. They went to meet him and bowed to the ground before him. So, if you are called by God, can you throw away everything you had and follow him? Elisha threw everything away and burned it. He shared everything he had with people, say goodbye happily. He left to be the prophet of God. Also, three times when Eliza tried to live alone, Elisha continued to be with him. Like when Jesus asked Peter three times, Do you love me? Yes, 
just like he answered. Because he had that belief, Elisha could see Eliza going up to the sky. He could also receive the double power as Eliza from God. So when God calls us, we say yes right away. At any moment, the belief to be together, it is exactly what God wants from us. So let's check comprehension question. First one, how did Elisha's life uh, change during the story? He left his old life to learn to be a prophet. God gave Elisha power to be his prophet. Second question, what do you learn about God from this story? God and his faithfulness stay the same even when our lives change. And true love for God is to act. Last question, what does God is faithful mean? God always keeps his promises. We can count on him to help us. So let's check the verse of this week. Let's read and memorize. Ready, set, go. Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for he who promised is faithful. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 23. So the homework of the next week is... Now, faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. So, let's praise the Lord's Prayer. Put your hands together and close your eyes. Ready, set, go. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is our kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let's pray and repeat after me. Thank you, God, for worshiping you. Thank you, God, for being faithful all the time. Thank you, God, for saving us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Please see you next Sunday. Bye-bye.